This is Harvey Allen. And in the 1950s, he was tasked with designing the Earth re-entry vehicle for NASA. If you look at like lunar landers, I mean, it's easy. You just flat sides, spindly bits. You don't worry about making it aerodynamic at all. There's no air there, right? But coming back to Earth, you've got to think about air a lot because you are traveling at such high speeds, many, many times faster than the speed of sound, that um, the air gets compressed so quickly that it generates these ungodly temperatures, right? Like 3000 degrees centigrade, way, way higher than the melting point or destruction point of basically any material that we knew. The early ideas for these re-entry vehicles were like, well, maybe we'll make them like rockets, right? Like we kind of have a sort of needle that like pierces through the air and has as little drag as possible, make it super streamlined and get through it as quickly as possible. But the thing is, these temperatures are so massive, these speeds are so huge that the numbers just were not adding up, right? Anything was just going to be burnt to a frazzle, vaporised on re-entry. And then Harvey had this genius idea, right? He was like, OK, well, when something is streamlined, all of that flow, all of that heat is happening right next to the skin of the, of the vehicle. But if you have something that's unstreamlined, you could create this sort of buffer this kind of like protective blanket that could wrap around the re-entry vehicle and just take some of that heat away um in aerodynamic circles the the opposite of streamlined is called a, a bluff body um it's generally not a compliment um but here is the point right if you re-enter the atmosphere with something that's basically like a flat wall the air cannot escape quick enough can't get out the way quick enough and so it acts like this cushion on the front of the vehicle and you get a much bigger shock wave you get way more friction way more drag but crucially, it's all happening away from the skin of the vehicle. It's kind of directed around it. Plus, double win, all of that drag slows down your, your vehicle much quicker um, than otherwise. Now, he was convinced that this would work. Um, was met with quite a lot of resistance at first. That, that was a dad joke. But the Russians soon cottoned onto this and they started creating these spherical vehicles. And then eventually the Americans settled on this like iconic cone-shaped re-entry vehicle where it comes in flat side down, like belly flopping into the Earth's atmosphere. And then even in later years, the space shuttle, which looks a bit more like a plane, um, it would come in sort of tummy side first. And then once it had slowed down enough to fly like a plane, it would tilt over and it would go nose first. And, you know, I just think there is something very lovely about that, right? This is like one of the most sophisticated aerospace bits of engineering and history, and it's about as aerodynamically sophisticated as a manhole cover. It just, just pleases me.